Alright, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be looking at how to create a billboard material. What this material will do is it will allow you to uh, have a plane or a simple piece of geometry that uh, is always facing the player. This is particularly helpful with uh, very low res uh, grass or uh, the final LOD of a tree, for example. This is the exact same material out of uh, Unreal's stylized, or Epic's stylized uh, project. It took me a very long time to actually figure out that that was in the project, so I decided to make a little tutorial on how to do this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my test texture and bring that over, plug in the base color and the opacity mask. I have this material set to masked over here. Just a simple red cross. Now let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and grab a camera position node. Go ahead and multiply that by a constant three vector. We're going to set the red, and, the red and green channel to 1. This is representative of the x and y axis. Now let's go ahead and subtract plug that into B. We need a object position node now. that into A. Now what we're going to do is we are going to normalize this. Now we're going to use a custom node and what this allows us to do is it allows us to put in our own custom code to make any sort of custom shader work we want. Alright, there's a couple settings we need to change. We're going to change this to a float 1. And we are going to change the input name to IN. Now I'm going to copy some code from, uh, from Epic's material that I've written down on the side. I'm going to leave it here for a moment and so you can see what what exactly the code is. Alright, so now let's go ahead and divide this custom node by a constant vector. And this will be a value of Three point one four two. Now we're going to divide that by a value of two. Now we're going to add this to point two five. Now let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. It's looking a little bit messy. Now 
Now we want to rotate about axis. And this plugs into our position. We need an object orientation node that will plug directly into normalize rotation about axis. This add knows into go uh, adds into rotation angle. Now we have just a little bit more to do. We're going to need a texture coordinate node. We're actually going to need two. Let's go ahead and mask out the the red channel. Let's go ahead and append this with the texture coordinate node. All right. Now we need a transform. I can spell transform correctly. Transform position node. We need to transform this from local space to absolute world space. So this is by default the correct settings. Now that's pretty much it. We just need to plug this into pivot point and plug this into world position offset. All right, let's go ahead and apply that material. Make sure there isn't any compiler errors. There are none, so we can go ahead and save that. Now, as you can see, this rotates. It's a pretty simple little material to uh, get a pretty cool effect. Alright, I hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching.